feeling, I think, for most. A repeated uh, uh, pattern with no way out. Uh, it can feel like suffering. Or gets frustrated, you know, going through the same day in the beginning. Uh, he desperately wants to find some new circumstances, so uh, he tries different scenarios. Uh, he tries hitting on his co-worker. <laughs> um, getting, and, and then He does not try anymore. This enables him true participation and true enjoyment. Every moment of his day becomes meaningful, whether it's the same day or not. And that has an awful lot to do with mindfulness, too. Uh, now, some have said that uh, Groundhog Day is all about karma. The idea of reincarnating until we find enlightenment. But this is karma on a mini scale, if it is, because it's just the one day that keeps repeating. <laughs> Now that uh, you know that concept, the the samsara concept uh, uh, from Buddhism. Now that uh, from the animal, so it, it, it's sort of a mini reincarnation that he goes through. Every day. Uh, also, it's similar to, you know, in Greek mythology, if you're familiar with the myth of Sisyphus, this is the guy that has to roll this boulder up a mountain every day and continuously forever. But in the Greek story, Uh, this is a punishment given to him by the gods. Um, I'm reading here uh, an article on CNN, which, which, which goes into this. There's a similar Buddhist tale of an enlightened monk who climbs a mountain to get a spoonful of snow in order to fill a well at the bottom of the mountain again and again and again. Some lessons take a long and seemingly futile amount of time to learn. But here it is. What it... What is time anyway? Illusory, uh, according to Buddhist uh, dogma. We know that time itself is uh, our illusory creation. So this is contained in the Zen Koan film.
so it, it's interesting that even though the day seems to be repeating over and over again, uh, Phil doesn't repeat the same day over and over. He changes. And, he, and by his changing, he changes what goes on around him. So it's interesting that starting from a, a basis of, of Buddhism, which really is what the film is grounded in, but it's also reached out to other uh, religions. Uh, now here's a rabbi, by the name of Dr. Niles Goldstein, who uh, says he finds Jewish resonance in the fact that Mr. Uh, was meant, but it's interesting that that kind of re uh, resonates with him. Work doesn't end until the world has been perfected. And then there's another film critic, uh, Michael Bronsky, uh, who also teaches a Jewish film history course, he says he sees strong elements of not only Jewish but Christian theology. They see the groundhog as uh, representing the resurrected Christ. <laughs> At a time of pagan Christian holidays. Um, well, for me, I say that's a stretch. Um, that certainly is the meaning of the resurrected Christ, but I don't find that particularly reflected in Groundhog Day. Um, The film is particularly important to their beliefs because Groundhog Day itself is one of the four great sabbats that divide the year at the midpoint between solstices and equinoxes. Several websites devoted to Wicca call the movie required viewing. 
So you can see that this film has an enormous meaning for a lot of people because of its spiritual nature. And because it is spiritual and not religious, it connects with people of many different faiths who see it in different ways. Uh, not always I agree with, but they do. And it does resonate with everyone in one way or another. Uh, so, uh, now there's a nice article about it uh, in Salon by uh, Mary Elizabeth Williams uh, who watched the movie like myself for the first time when it came out um, and now 25 years later half a lifetime year uh, later it feels like such a different story because it really is about this character who's That, I do believe, is the, the real message there. Um, uh, she expresses a feeling that it's so resonant right now because uh, she's looking around herself and everything that she sees or reads seems to be about maximizing your time and maximizing your efficiency. And this is really a story about the incredible, painstaking, patience-testing process of learning and failing. And it's certainly not about building skill sets in terms of doing card tricks or learning how to play the piano. Well, I mean, partly that, too. But it's an amazing movie, so if you haven't seen it, if you're one of the few who have never seen this movie, um, I think you should... I think you should check it out. All right. So now we move on to uh, our new segment of our program, which I have promised to do every show now, uh, our meditation. So based on requests and, uh, and or uh, just my own intuition, uh, I do a meditation for various different uh, needs, whether it be for mindfulness, or whether it be for healing, or something else, whatever it might be. So uh, this is a mountain meditation. And this is uh, something that you'll want to do, hopefully you're in, in a 